In this episode, we're focusing on a fascinating animal that is both mighty and majestic, yet is still in fear of its life. On Shamwari Private Game Reserve, you can truly see an ecosystem at work, with every animal crucial in ensuring the balance of nature. In this episode, we're focusing on a fascinating animal that is both mighty and majestic, yet is still in fear of its life. The rhinoceros. A keystone species in the African ecosystem, whose presence and role have an immense effect on other organisms with whom they share environment. But to many, their importance lies elsewhere. Rhinos are poached for their horns which is used in traditional medicine in the Far East and as a status symbol. This demand has created a significant threat for the survival of the species. 394 rhinos were poached in South Africa during 2020. And in the first six months of 2021, 249 rhinos have already been poached. Since 2015, rhino poaching has seen a steady decline, proving anti-poaching and conservation efforts effective. Although the fight to save the species is far from over, and every one of them matters. South Africa is home to two species of rhino, the white rhino and black rhino, also known as a square-lipped rhino and the hooked-lipped rhino, respectively. The white rhino is the largest species of rhinoceros still in existence, and fully grown adults can weigh over two tons. It has a wide jaw and mouth, and its squared lip acts as a lawnmower while grazing in the African plains. It is the most social of all the rhino species and can often be seen in groups, especially amongst younger bulls. Black rhino are solitary animals and considered to be aggressive. Relative to their white rhino counterparts, they are small, weighing in just under a ton and a half, and are classified as near-threatened. Estimates put the wild black rhino numbers at just over 5,400 individuals, making it vital to protect them and their habitat. Black rhino are more reclusive and tend to stay hidden in thickets and bushes, and this proves to be the perfect feeding ground. As they have a prehensile upper lip, it makes it easy to feed off the bushes and thickets. Although, this also creates a different problem. It is extremely difficult to monitor them, and thus are always vulnerable to poachers. Both these species have an undeniable impact on their surroundings. Rhinos and elephants are largely responsible for geoforming meaning they fundamentally reshape the environment they live in. By wallowing in mud puddles, 
They help to create natural waterholes and keep existing waterholes open. Every time a rhino wallows, mud gets stuck on their skin and dries. When the rhino later scratches off this mud, it helps facilitate the spread of fertile soil, enriching the environment around them. Rhinos can consume up to 2.5% of their body weight in vegetation every day, and thus can deposit almost 20 kilograms of dung as well. This dung fertilizes the environment and is also a source of nutrition for many insects and birds. Crested guinea fowl scratch through these dung treasure troves looking for both insects and later in the season, undigested seeds. The white rhino also modify vegetation by establishing and maintaining short grass lawns. These open plains are essential to other animals such as the black wildebeest and many birds such as the Cape Longclaw, larks and pipits. In 1997, the reserve reintroduced oxpeckers to the region. Oxpeckers are a bird whose main source of nutrition are ticks that are commonly found in the large animals out in the African plains. These birds were once extinct in the region but are now thriving and are a common sight on many rhino, giraffe and other mammals alike. This relationship can be considered mutualistic as the rhino gets a natural tick bath and the oxpecker a constant source of food. Thus benefiting both the animals mutually. The oxpeckers, which were once regionally extinct, are now thriving both on Shamwari and the surrounding area. The importance of rhinos within an ecosystem is undeniable, and thus conserving this threatened mammoth of a mammal is vital. Shamwari Private Game Reserve is home to a world-class anti-poaching unit, tasked with protecting these bulldozers of the bush 24-7, 365 days a year. The Conservation Department also constantly monitors the reserve's rhino population and their well-being is at the forefront of the efforts to help ensure the population grows and the individuals are healthy and happy. We hope you enjoyed this episode about one of our favourite animals on the reserve. And although quite a common sighting while out on drive, it's always a special one. Remember to subscribe, like and comment. And until next time, goodbye for now.